Welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa Caprio. Do you believe in magic? What if you were told that all you had to do was get a little creative and work a magic spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Here on Postcards to the Universe, we will share manifesting, tips, postcards, creativity, abundance, and prosperity. Here is your host, Melissa Caprio. Hello and welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. I hope you guys who are here with me today are doing well and you're safe and you're happy. How's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's been a crazy week as usual, but it's been good. Uh, today I have a pranic healer, Avital Miller, as my guest, and she's going to join me in just a few minutes. So we're going to talk to her today about healing, so I'm excited about that. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, if this is the first time you're listening to my show, welcome. A little about me, I am also an author and a photographer, and my book is titled Postcards to the Universe, Harness the Universe's Power and Manifest Your Dreams. And in my book, I have 30 manifesting stories, along with photographs that I took of the contributors manifesting postcards. And I include all those images and stories in the book, along with writing exercises to help us get clear on what we want to manifest and a toolbox full of fun exercises on how to manifest love, money, health, career, and so much more. So if you're interested in doing inner work exercises and reading people's incredible journeys of transformation, inspiration, and manifesting, you can go to your favorite bookstore and purchase a copy. Now, each week I share a magical message that I post on Mondays, and it's an image of a manifesting postcard that I photograph with an affirmation that I like to focus on for the week using Affirmations daily, I find, is a powerful way for it to become a new belief in our lives. And this week's magical message is money is the root of abundance. Now, this post is a repost from a couple of years ago because I have been extremely busy this week finishing my second book. So I finished it on Friday. I got to write the end on Friday of last week. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Now it's edit time. So I'm deep in the edits, but God, to have completed my second manuscript. I, I'm like so excited and I can't wait to share all the details with you, which I will as I get closer to publication. So that is why this week's message is money is the root of abundance. I always thought money, that's always a good one, right? We all have a money story. Is your story about financial abundance or is your money story about lack? And a good way to find out what your money story is to see we, is to see what our family's money story is. So if our parents always struggled for money and you find yourself struggling, know that you adapted that story. Money is only energy in, and we just use it to pay for goods and services. So changing our money story to abundance is important. And in the book, I go into great detail on how to discover what your money story is and how to shift it. I include uh, writing exercises to get clear on your money story and fun manifesting um, games to do to bring in financial abundance. So having financial freedom opens up so many opportunities for us. So I highly recommend that if your money story is lack, if you find that that's your story, try to find ways to shift it to abundance. Believe me, you'll be so much happier. And to see my magical messages each week, you can find them on any of my social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest. Wow, God, I'm on TikTok now too. <laughs> And I post them each week uh, there. And also, if you're on Facebook and you want to join a fun group, I have a group called Postcards of Love, and it's only inspirational stuff that is shared on there. And you can share your art, your whatever that inspires you. So come over there. Okay. So next week, I have a guest. Her name is Anne Hintz. And Anne is a traumatic she had a traumatic experience when she was 19 and she carried that trauma with her for over 20 years and she found a simple technique that helped her release her emotions, EFT, which is emotional freedom technique. And she learned to go further and can now put her awareness inside her own body. So join me next week to learn about EFT if you've never heard about it. It's really interesting. I've been actually doing EFT a lot lately. 
Um, to get to my guest today, which I'm really excited to talk about healing, I could use, I was saying before the break, I could use a little healing myself. Oh, God, all my, my wonderful little issues have, have come to the surface again. Well, so we'll talk about that. So let me tell you a little bit about Avital Miller. She's a best-selling author of books, Healing Happens, and her other book, Practice, and inspires people to experience boundless energy, absolute happiness, and true success in order to live the best life possible. For over 15 years, she has been serving thousands of people worldwide as an award-winning international keynote speaker, a neurolinguistic programming practitioner, healing breakthrough facilitator, and global dancer. Her leadership background includes working as a program manager at Microsoft, lead coach for Success Resources America, sales and marketing director for Crystal Clarity, publishers, yoga, fitness teacher, trainer, fitness director, and ordained minister. Wow, that's a lot. Her articles have been published in Fitness Professional Online and Sacred Dance Guide Guild Journal. Avital has been trained as an energy healer in pranic healing and Ananda level two healing, which we're going to find out more about today. And she is known for offering beyond cutting edge wisdom and authenticity, delightful energy and an infectious joy. If you want to find out more about her, if you're home and you can, can, can look at her website as you're listening to the show, you can find her at www. I'm going to spell it for you, avitalmiller.com. That's A-V-I-T-A-L-M-I-L-L-E-R.com. Welcome, Avital. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. It is so thrilling to be here. And I love the affirmation, money is the root of abundance. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Because we, we, we never think of it like that. They always, we always hear terrible things that people greed, money's the root of evil. No, no, money is the root of abundance. We've got to shift our thinking, right? Which is exactly, which is what you have learned to do in your healing work. So I'm going to let you share about your background and how you got into the work that you're doing today. So why don't you tell us a little bit about you? Absolutely. Thank you. A lot of people get curious what a former program manager from Microsoft is mm -hmm. doing being involved with healing. Right. And I'm doing that because of having a personal story. And Microsoft was a, and is a great company as I'm sitting here in front of my Windows PC. And how many of us know at age 20 what we're going to do for life? You know, there I am with an engineering degree. I did get a dance major and I'm thinking, nope, Microsoft, not for me. And I transitioned into being in the fitness world and the yoga world. And I'm a yoga and fitness instructor, teacher trainer, fitness director, and I'm teaching 25 to 30 classes all over town, known as the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> really that's what everybody called you in town the energizer bunny that's cute oh god that's a lot of classes a week though 30 classes a week is a lot yeah that's that's a lot of energy <laughs> yeah for sure yeah it seemed seemed just fine it was fun I loved what I was doing and then I, I started having issues with fatigue and that's, mm. you know, yourself weighing like a ton of bricks and my beautiful long hair was falling out. My muscles were turning to fat and I was getting mm. weaker than my students. Hmm. You can imagine if you're unable to do your job, right? Like if you mm -hmm. were unable to speak right now, how would you lead this wonderful radio? Right. right. And I did what most of us would do. I went to the doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a diagnosis of an autoimmune disorder called mm. Hashimoto's as well as mm -hmm. hypothyroidism. Okay. I was put on a large dosage of medication right. and sent out the door saying, that's it for life. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, oh, okay, kind of like an arranged marriage, I guess I'm just stuck with this. But I really, really see myself helping a lot of people in the future. Mm -hmm. So how do I work with this in the best way possible? And I start reading online and mm -hmm. reading books and going to all these different health and healing practitioners. And I studied one-on-one -on -one with an Ayurvedic doctor in India for two months. And mm -hmm. all of those practices that I was 
installing into my life were helping me feel more stable, less of the ups and downs, which was my first miracle. Then I started meditating regularly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you might know what it's like to meditate. You feel good, right? Yeah, well, when I do it, I'm I'm terrible at meditating. That's why um, I'm really interested to talk to you about EFT next week because I've been doing tapping, and mm -hmm. I, that seems to work better for me than meditating. I don't know if it's the Gemini brain that I have, where I'm always in my head to get my thoughts under control. is is It's really difficult for me, and it stresses me out. So I'm like, well, if meditating is stressing you out, then you shouldn't maybe be doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, and what I would what I would say, side note, because of course I have all the, the meditation certifications and run a meditation group. Right. And uh, what you want to keep in mind with meditation, as with anything in life, that sometimes it's also a matter of finding the right practice. Yes. So when I lived at the I yoga do. community, because I was there almost seven years, there were lots of Gemini's there. We didn't we didn't just skip you know that that month of the year of birthdays. <laughs> um, <Right. laughs> You did it? You mean There's they no, don't get like no. a pass, like because of their minds just, don't shut off? <laughs> no, nobody's nobody has their birthday this month. Um. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but it, it, it was the techniques that we had yeah. that helped calm the mind down. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of times people, they, they just want to sit. And, and meditate and, and sort of n not preempt themselves. But but mm -hmm. we we go through, I mean, minimum 10 minutes of preparation, but really, if you're really doing the, the full process, because I mean, mm -hmm. we would do longer meditations, you know, living up sure. in the mountains there. Sure. Uh, but the you do these energizing exercises, you do yoga practice, and you do sitting mm -hmm. and breathing, and you do a couple other techniques, and then you get the silent time, and it feels natural at that point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and so what you want to do is, is, is right now is just focus on what feels natural and when EFT feels natural, like do that, mm -hmm. but see if EFT relaxes you enough so mm -hmm. that you can also sit in the silence for a moment. Uh, yeah. And that's funny that you said that after that, because the only time that I actually could be quiet, even though it was only for a few minutes, was at the end of a yoga practice. When I would go to mm -hmm. yoga, you know, mm -hmm. at the end when we would get into what's the last pose? The, Shavasana. Um, Shavasana. Thank you. Shavasana. Yep. And you're in Shavasana and you're finally relaxing. That would be the only time that I could really like zone out because Perfect. I had just in a full hour practice, right? Yes. Moving my body. So that really helped. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I could see yeah. it doing it after that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So definitely le leverage that time when you feel <laughs> that sense of peacefulness because yeah. most of disease in the body does come from stress. Mm -hmm. And if, if we don't figure out how to stop and let go, um, mm -hmm. then, then we're always running, then we're always mm -hmm. operating and, and that's going to impact us. I'm planning the biggest event that I've ever planned called the Valentine's Sorry. It's in three weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the last two nights I, I know, and I'm taking some new medicine, which, um, like natural supplements, which might also mm -hmm. be making me more hyper and I'm mm -hmm. on, on a cleanse. Um, so all those things contribute, but a big part of it is, is that I didn't, I don't know how much I actually slept. You know, I, I laid in bed. I'm mm -hmm. not tired at all. So it should be fine. Right. But it was because my mind kept going and that's the mm -hmm. news flash for me. You're like, you know, that the techniques to do to mm -hmm. help, help the mind relax and, and let go, uh, because I don't, want this to impact my health, right? That right, I'm not sleeping well enough and that, and that I keep going. And I've learned that from the past. I've learned the value of sleep and when to sleep. There's so many different life habits that we could do to help, help support the relaxation. And I know before meditation, I would go hiking mm -hmm. and it would take me a few hours until my mind would calm down. Oh, mm. just from straight walking. So we, we definitely could find that time where the mind relaxes. I guess I, I have a, a Virgo mind, which is a similar uh, mm -hmm. counterpart to to Gemini. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if it's exactly yeah. the same yeah. like being a Gemini. Yeah. yeah, no, I know some Virgos. Yeah, they're in their head a lot. Well, you're ruled by the same planet, Mercury. Mercury mm -hmm. is the ruler of communications, thoughts. So yes, we're...
in our head a lot. Um, exactly. When you, you said that you got ill, which that must have been really challenging for somebody who was obviously living a healthy lifestyle. If you're teaching that many yoga classes a week, mm-hmm. you know, your body is probably really strong. Um, um, you're eating healthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then all of a sudden it just like came on you. Do you, do you have an, do you have an, an um, uh, a, do you think you know why it came on you? <laughs> I have a list of about 10 different reasons, which I've slowly <laughs> been working on my entire adult life. Okay. Um, and it, it, de- it depends too sometimes on, um, you know, on how esoteric you want to get. Um, but, you know, first we're, we're looking at the types of foods that I'm eating mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. what is dehydrating the body and what chemicals am I putting in the body and am I really getting the most nutrients? So yes, I'm eating healthy. Yes, I have all mm-hmm. these healthy practices. Practices. And, right. and no, there was more to learn. And there's this funny thing because I've stayed in many, many homes. I've traveled around the world speaking and I just, I love staying with people that I know and mm-hmm. I see how they eat and they always say they eat healthy. Everyone says this. Mm-hmm. I'm not kidding. Every home that I've been, they say they eat healthy and I see what they're eating. And after the research that I've done, it's like, oh, I mean, they, they think that, but it's also mm-hmm. because they have, they haven't a- actually done, you know, the level of research. Mm-hmm. Um, that is out there to see what the risks are with some of the things that they're putting in their body. Uh, and of course, if they don't have health issues, you know, then they're not necessarily triggered to that. But at a young age mm-hmm. <laughs> and who who thinks you're really healthy because you're a, a guru of yoga and mm-hmm. fitness um, mm-hmm. and then having the health issues. Yes, I had to take a deeper look. So right now I'm talking about it, you know, environmental factors. I mean, I tested mold in my home. I tested the mm-hmm. air in my home. And um, I, I started to learn also a breathing exercises you can do to, to cleanse your body out. So you're not, mm-hmm. you know, have, you don't have to be as affected even by the things that are in your environment that you don't have as much control over. Yeah, and I've, I've heard about those, that conscious breathing and stuff. And I want to, I want to talk more about this, but I see that we're already up for our first break. So let's take our first break here. And then when we come back, I want you to, yeah, we can get esoteric. So yeah, you can tell me what you think. I'm very curious. So guys, stay tuned and I will be back in just two minutes with my amazing guest. Conscious media for conscious minds. Om Times. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Om Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Om Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Hi, I'm Melissa Caprio from Postcards to the Universe, creating the life you crave. Do you believe in magic? What if I told you all you had to do was get a little creative and work a dream spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Well, guess what? I've got the spell for you. Postcards to the Universe, a global movement for manifestation, is a casting magical tool for you to use whenever you want. How does living in passion sound to you? Join me in my movement where you get to create in the magical playground. Let's think outside the box and do some playful conjuring. By casting out our desires with a manifesting postcard, we explore our hearts and allow the alchemy of our dreams to appear. And don't forget to tune in each week here on Om Times Radio with my show, Postcards to the Universe, Creating the Life You Crave at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I share tips on creativity, abundance, and prosperity, and you will be introduced to the coolest guests, trailblazers, mystics, and creatives who enrich our lives. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. The rainbow is God's promise of hope for you and me. And though the clouds hang heavy and the sun we cannot see, we know above the dark clouds that fill the stormy sky, hope's rainbow will come shining through when the clouds have drifted by. 
Teresa Caprio is the president and founder of Rainbow Guardian Inc., a nonprofit 501c3 serving the intellectually challenged slash developmentally disabled, including autism. Teresa started the foundation in 1995 so she could help make a better life for her intellectually challenged daughter. Her dream is that the Rainbow Guardian will provide the necessary tools and education to help the public understand the special needs population because it's often discarded in mainstream society. To find out more or make a donation and support, please go to www.rainbowguardian.org. Rainbow Guardian's special mission is to see these unique people live a happy, full life and have a future of liberty and equality. Welcome back. So if you're just joining me, I have author of Healing Happens and Pranic Healer, Avital Miller, as my guest. And we were talking about, um, before the break, um, she was teaching yoga and was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder and what your thoughts were about why you started to manifest that dis-ease from the autoimmune Yes, yes. Uh, we started talking on the physical layer, mm -hmm, and I can keep mm -hmm. talking about things on the physical layer. Mm -hmm. But you were curious also about the esoteric layer. So mm -hmm. we could just yeah. dive right yeah. over there. Uh, the first thing that happened was I started reading a book that was specifically mm -hmm. about Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism. Mm -hmm. And it, it says these people commonly have issues with communication in their relationships. Mm. And of course I'm sitting there thinking, how could I have any issues with communication? I'm teaching 25 to 30 classes a week. I'm mm -hmm. a fitness director of 100 mm -hmm. people. I'm leading teacher training. I am communicating constantly. Mm. And then I took a deeper look and I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, let me look at my dating life. And I'm like, oh, well, all these things happen that I'm not comfortable with and I don't mm. say anything about it. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. There's this phrase that I've been saying, which is sing your sweet song. And first we really have to get in touch with what our, our song is. And so just for those of you who don't realize too, the, the hypothyroidism, the thyroid gland Mm -hmm. is what we're talking about there and that's in the throat and those of you pay attention to yoga the chakras mm -hmm. the energy centers so there we are throat and where's throat communication and of course we were just talking earlier about communication centers mm -hmm. and and so it's it's the first step is is learning because sometimes you just even completely block yourself from even seeing what you feel mm -hmm. because you can't communicate it so you might as well just not pay attention to it you know, it's disregarded. All right. and, th and this comes from habits of, of the way you watch mm -hmm. people react to you sure. or wh what you think is going to contribute in the best way to the environment that you're in, right? Everyone makes, makes a different decision mm -hmm. and it defines everything that happens in their lives differently. So these are the definitions that I was creating. And so then it, really learning what I feel and then being confident that it's okay to feel that mm -hmm. way and it's okay to want what I want then your song can be sweet because mm. it's going to be heard better if it's sweet. Right. Um, and so sweet you, can be loud. It can be uh, right. powerful, uh, but it's, it's assertive, right? But it's, mm -hmm. it's sweet in that it's easy to hear. And, and then there's the this, this step of um, communicating it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> communicating it in a good so way. So you had to like look at yourself. You had to take a deeper dive and you had to say, hmm, maybe I don't stand up for myself when I need to. I let people cross boundaries because I don't speak up. <clears throat> like those kind of things were coming to you and you were looking at them at more in more intimate relationships. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And in all mm -hmm. honesty, I feel like I keep learning. Mm -hmm. There's been... Uh, what, over 15 years of looking at this and realizing, oh, there's somewhere else where I could feel more, I could communicate more, um, I could communicate more sweetly. And mm -hmm. it's then doing it. 
So this is this is a lifelong message that that we get to learn, and there's a, a gift behind that because how much better is life today mm. when I can communicate my needs? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I have some. I have some ideas about why I am manifesting dis-ease in certain areas of my body that are mm -hmm. in the esoteric realm, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, it's interesting. Yeah. And it's um, how to heal that, you know, like in that realm, because obviously, you know, we know that, like you said, you know, we, we maybe not think we're eating healthy, but we should, you know, find out what is healthy and eat what's healthy and take care of our bodies and that kind of stuff. But I believe that it's much deeper than that. And you're, you proved it to me because somebody doing that much yoga, breathing, all those kind of work <laughs> every week is still manifesting some, an illness is showing me that it was something deeper and a deeper level in your psyche or emotional body or whatever, energy field, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yep. When so, I um, the, go ahead. you know, the, the studies always show that people who meditate, mm -hmm. people who do yoga, right. They, they have, um, you know, their bodies are younger. We, we've got mm -hmm. less risk of all these things. But when I lived in the right. yoga community, People still got cancer. People still got yeah. sick. These things right. still happen because we still have a human side. We still right. are constantly <laughs> shifting and changing to what's going on around us, right? But right. a bunch of us have still gotten COVID during this time. <laughs> right, right. Of course, of course. Well, I want to talk about what um, pranic healing and ananda healing is. So mm -hmm. why don't we talk about that? What What is it? Because you're a practitioner? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So share with us, what is pranic or Ananda healing? Yeah. Yeah. And there are two, there are two different things. Um, mm -hmm. and pranic healing is almost, almost like, like actually doctors use this alongside themselves. So mm -hmm. it's just fascinating because there's all these protocols where if, if somebody has a headache, if somebody mm -hmm. has a pain in their shoulder, right? If somebody, somebody has stones in their stomach, then mm -hmm. do, do these actions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are the actions? So now ima imagine this, um, visualization, but imagine that, uh, everything in, in your body that is healthy, right? That mm -hmm. is what you want it to be because everything is made of energy. So then there's all these like little cells bouncing around, right? Mm -hmm. And imagine that all those are white. Okay. Everything that's healthy is white. But then um, imagine that what isn't healthy, right? What, what feels like pain in the body, what mm -hmm. isn't in resonance with who mm -hmm. you're really meant to be right now, then all, all those are a little black cells, like little black dots in the air amidst, mm -hmm. okay. amidst white ones. And basically what pranic healing does is it takes the black ones out and then it fills up those holes with white dots again. Okay. But it, how, like who does that? <laughs> you know, that's the, <laughs> yeah. the, the, you're going to a healer for that and they're energetically working mm -hmm. on you or you're, you're imagining this yourself or you're doing it in combination. Both of you are doing it at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, there's a few questions in there. So it yeah, also sure. <laughs> depends on, on, again, how esoteric you want to get because, because I, I actually believe everything is our imagination. So mm -hmm. it, technically you could imagine that this shifting is happening and, and mm -hmm. it could happen if you have that power of thought. Mm -hmm. um, but there okay. are fit physical motions that basically a mm. pranic healer, healer is sweeping their hands in a circle okay. um, at, at the area. And so f when you um, put a screw okay. in, um, uh -huh when you screw something in, you're, um, you're turning right. Right. And then mm -hmm. when you're taking something out, you turn it left. So you're right. circling the hand left to take out the black dots and you're circling the hand right to put in the white dots. Now there is sort of a, an intention of the mind that's set mm -hmm. while you're doing that to say, this is what I'm doing. And, okay. I, and it happens as a result of this hand motion, but it, it really happens because you allow a divine spirit to flow through you 
and make it happen. Um, okay. for, the pra- for the person that I'm doing it on, there's mm-hmm. a couple things that I have them do while I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. I don't specifically tell them, okay, think about me taking the black dots out of your body. Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's more like giving them a peaceful affirmation to say and mm-hmm. just what, okay. what position for their body to be in. Um, but generally they can be pretty relaxed. Uh, I do believe that they need to be energetically aligned with Mm -hmm. uh, being okay with letting go Mm -hmm. of those things for them to truly let go. And they need to change habits going forward so they don't just get it back. Um, Right. So what I also like to do is just incorporate all my other knowledge about health and healing uh, to say, hey, what could you do so that this doesn't repeat? Got and okay. the the Ananda healing mm-hmm. comes from the teachings of Paramahansa Yogananda. Mm-hmm. And he had a disciple named Swami Kriyananda who started the organization Ananda okay. and passed down the teachings of Paramahansa Yogananda. Paramahansa Yogananda is the yoga guru who wrote Autobiography of a Yogi. Okay. A lot of people know him mm-hmm. through that. So mm-hmm. these are, are more yoga and meditation based techniques, but it, it's, there's a lot of yoga meditation based techniques that are not just sitting and, and, mm-hmm. and still and breathing. Um, there's interestingly a lot of, a lot of things that you can do there and you could focus on, um, on color therapy and you're using definitely the thought process of your mind. You're using your hands um, mm-hmm. and thinking about, you know, taking out energy, sending in the, uh, the right energy. Um, I love, I love doing the colors and the chakras. And then I, I was also taught, and this was uh, one of Swami Kriyananda's students who created this, um, which one is it? Psalm 23. Uh, it actually goes through each of the chakras and it mm-hmm. also heals people's relationship with religion. If that's something that they mm-hmm. want to work on, Interesting. Wow. um, at, at really least with the Christian faith and, mm-hmm. and with Jesus, um, in a certain sense. Um, okay. but, so but you it, work with your clients doing either one of those healing now, do can you, are you doing healings remotely? Can you do that? Or, or does it have to be hands-on? Uh, no, it, it, it can be done remotely. This, this mm-hmm. was really fun when I started working on pe- with people mm-hmm. because, I wanted to see, well, does this remote thing really work? So I, right. I called some friends and mm-hmm. I, I set the phone down. They couldn't see me. Right. And mm-hmm. I said, okay, you know, and, and it was people who, who were about to get sick or had a headache, right. You know, something going on that they wanted to work on. And I set mm-hmm. the phone down and I'd say, just, just talk, you know, as we're going through this and just let me know what's going on for you. And I, I might be working on their forehead and they're like, you know, I, I kind of feel like a, a tingling on my, on my, the middle mm. of my forehead. And then I might be working on their heart and they're like, I, I feel this warmth in my heart. But I didn't tell them which part what of the body I was even working on in that mm. moment. So they could physically feel this. And actually, this, this is really, really fascinating. Um, Master Ko, who's... Uh, like our, our leader of chronic healing. So I just did mm-hmm. Tony Robbins unleash the power within. He had Master mm-hmm. Co come as a guest speaker. We have 10,000 people there and mm-hmm. he did a technique on all of us. And I loved watching the shock on all mm-hmm. of these people's faces when they could feel what he was doing. <laughs> wow, <that's laughs> One person from stage and we all felt it in the same place. Wow, that's crazy. Was that here in what here? I'm in Florida. Was that in West Palm Beach? Were you in it Florida? It was. It was. Yeah, because he lives here. Yeah, he lives here. So <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> oh, that's very cool. Wow, with ten thousand people, good for you. You guys are brave right now doing that with everything that's going on. Um. So okay. So people can then come to you. I mm-hmm. um and say if they say Avital, I want to. I need a healing and you'll, and you work with them on one-on-one remotely. I can work remotely. Yeah. And I'll be yeah, honest with you mm-hmm. since mm-hmm. I've been doing neuro-linguistic programming and became a neuro-linguistic programming practitioner, people have been more interested in that. Well, that's and... interesting because that's the next question is what <laughs> is that? Because I want <laughs> you to share what that is. So you're reading my mind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So because it, it has quick mm-hmm. results and and mm-hmm. people can see it more easily. Okay. Um, but w- what I'm basically finding out, so I'm giving you this example of okay, well, mm-hmm. I I had. 
throat issues and I wasn't communicating. So I need to understand where does that come from? Where did it start? Wh mm -hmm. What am I feeling? How do I communicate? And, and that's an example of what we do within neuro-linguistic programming. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at the connection of your mind to, mm -hmm. to your body, to your speech. Mm -hmm. Um, your spirit to the, mm -hmm. the neural pathways that you've developed and traumas that you've had in the past and mm -hmm. how do how do we keep lessons and learning but let go of the emotions so that mm -hmm. we could feel more peaceful in our being how, how do we understand ourselves more deeply how do we understand the other people in our life more deeply mm -hmm. there are so many processes that I can take people through. It's, it's like a different type of prescription, whereas in pranic healing, you know, it's like, okay, well, I have the, this physical thing going on, this one, that one, this one, right? And, mm -hmm. and the neuro-linguistic programming, it's usually talking about the emotional layer, and we already talked about how there's a connection between the emotional layer and the body. But there is also, um, there's also techniques in neuro-linguistic programming for understanding what is going on in your body and, and what you could do about it in, in mm -hmm. terms of, of, of more the, the mindset, the emotions and the lifestyle habits that you're having. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. So yeah. So the neurolinguistic, for example, just going about the message that I talked about earlier about money, right? You know, we all have a money story. So somebody mm -hmm. can come and say, I need help because I can't hold on to money. I'm always struggling. Mm -hmm. This is a problem. And you can go through what they're emotions are around money doing neurolinguistic pro programming, correct? Yes. To shift that. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that's we, really we, interesting. Yeah. So <laughs> right. it's kind of like, okay, well I'm I'm you know, I'm having issues with money. It's like, okay, well mm -hmm. Uh, what were some of the things, you know, that your parents said around money growing up? Did mm -hmm. you have a lot of money, a little money? You know, basically asking a bunch of questions to see were there any traumas that happened in, in childhood. I'm actually leading a How to Become a Money Magnet program right now, too. So that's also why it was fun for you to say that <laughs> affirmation. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, okay. So, you know, were there these traumas? Mm -hmm. uh, was it a one time? Was it a repeated thing? Right. Because there's a difference in terms of the types of techniques we're going to do if, if there's something that's been repeated in your life or just happened one time right. sure and yeah and how we're going to work with the traumas that come up from that so that that's like like one level or right? another level is okay, I just, I just want to change my belief on this thing you know it's not necessarily mm. rooted to anything serious from the past um so you know I, I used to believe okay money is the root of of evil and I want to mm -hmm. change that I want my new belief to be money is the root of abundance so mm -hmm. we have a really fun technique that we can do with that. Um, Perfect. And, and then, Wait, hold your thought. Hold your thought because then we're going to hear and then when we come back because we're at our second break. So let's take <laughs> you here and then we'll go to the end then and we can dive deeper into this. So guys, stay tuned and we'll be back in two minutes. The Real Conscious Connection. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Imagine yourself being transported to India, to the banks of the Ganga, and an ashram in Rishikesh. Visualize that you are welcome to satsang with an American sannyasi who shares the wisdom of her guru. Your visualization has manifested. Join Satvi Bhagawati Saraswati for inspiration and transformation every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. Hi, I'm Melissa Caprio from Postcards to the Universe, creating the life you crave. Do you believe in magic? What if I told you all you had to do was get a little creative and work a dream spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Well, guess what? I've got the spell for you. Postcards to the Universe, a global movement for manifestation, is a casting magical tool for you to use whenever you want. How does living in passion sound to you? Join me in my movement where you get to create in the magical playground. Let's think outside the box and do some playful conjuring. By casting out our desires with a manifesting postcard, we explore our hearts and allow the alchemy of our dreams to appear. 
And don't forget to tune in each week here on Ohm Times Radio with my show, Postcards to the Universe, Creating the Life You Crave at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I share tips on creativity, abundance, and prosperity, and you will be introduced to the coolest guests, trailblazers, mystics, and creatives who enrich our lives. Coping 19, brought to you by CDC and the Ad Council. If you're feeling increasingly lonely right now, you're not alone. It's totally normal. Even though we may not be able to get together in person, connecting virtually with friends and family still gives you a chance to interact with people and may help raise your spirits. Join a virtual book club, set up group text chats, or online video coffee breaks with coworkers. Find more self-care and coping tips at coping-19.org. Welcome back. Okay, so before the break, Abital and I were talking about her being a neuro-linguistic practitioner and diving into changing a money story, basically. We use that as an example. Um, so go ahead. I'll let you continue your thought. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we talked about the past. So we mm-hmm. talked about, you know, if there's something that came up in the past, how do we clear that out? And we talked about the present. I want my belief right now to be money is the root of abundance. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to talk about the future. And it's just also techniques to empower our ability to even more powerfully manifest that vision, mm-hmm. manifest mm-hmm. that belief, manifest that desire, that goal. Okay. So is it when you're doing the neuro neuro linguistic programming, is it so we're, we're, we're reprogramming our thoughts in our mind? Is that what we're doing to shift our beliefs around it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Because I want to just really get clear on what it is. Yeah, go ahead. We're shifting our emotional response. That's the main thing. Okay. Um, And then we're shifting our beliefs as well, depending on what beliefs you want. So the client gets to decide for themselves where they want to go and I'll help them go there. (laughs) Got it. Okay. Yeah. Cause I talk about, when I talk about the money uh, in the book, I see, you know, people have the belief that money is the root of evil, right? Or people who have money are greedy. So why would you have money if that's what you think? Because mm-hmm. if you think that money's evil, then you don't want money. No, mm-hmm. you don't want to hold on to money. You don't <laughs> want to be evil. You don't want to be a greedy person, right? So heck no, you're not going to have any money coming your way. So that is a, a emotional response to what you think about having money. And that's why so many people who win the lottery, they've done a study that mm-hmm. so many people have won the lottery can't hold on to the money, they lose the money because of their emotional response to having the money. They're not a match for it. So the Mm -hmm. money goes away, right? It makes sense. So the neuro-linguistic programming, I can see how that can apply to our relationships romantically with our families, relationships to food, our relationships to addictions that we have, whether drinking, shopping, sex, smoking, right? I mean, I could see how that could work in all of that. Yes, works in all areas of life. (laughs) Wow, that's pretty cool. (laughs) That's really, really cool. That's very, very interesting. So you work with, so so I'm a client and I say, okay, Abital, I'm coming to you. This is my issue. My issue right now is, I'll tell you guys physically what my issue right now is. Mm -hmm. Um, My stomach has been bothering me again lately, like acid reflux is back, even though I take medications and stuff. And Mm -hmm. I've also had UTIs a lot in the past year, but I actually found out I have kidney stones. So I don't think they're UTI. I think I'm passing small, little, tiny stones. So it gets very irritated. Women especially know what this Mm -hmm. feels like, right? So Mm -hmm. now they're, they're here together. Like before it was, I had one or the other. Now I have both, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm coming to you. That's my problem physically. Mm -hmm. What Mm -hmm. might you like ask me right off the bat? Like anything emotional. You can ask me anything. I'm open. I talk about everything. So it's okay. (laughs) I would also, I would also be curious what you did in the past. Cause you said it came back, which means it went away. Uh, So Mm -hmm. what helped in the past to make it go away? Well, the EFT tapping, which I haven't stopped doing, but I was doing it more than I am now. And then okay. I was taking, I've been taking my stomach medication and the UTI, the, the stone thing, because I do think they're stones, it just kind of comes and goes. Like if I'm passing a little stone for a week or so, it's irritated. 
you know, there's mm. nothing I can do about it. Just flush it out with water. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry that it's irritating. Um, it's very irritating. And uh, yeah, so mm-hmm. I, I, that's what I'm suspecting because I do know that I found out that I have small kidney stones because I was mm-hmm. living on Tums for about six months. Be mm-hmm. careful. If you take too many of that calcium, those calcium chewables, they will cause calcium deposits on your on your kidneys. You don't want uh-huh. that. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so side note, just eat more greens um, to get mm-hmm. the calcium, but oh, like the darker leafy greens. Um but no, but the, for the stomach, it, they cause mm-hmm. the calcium to build up on your kidneys because that's what's stopping the acid in your stomach when you're living on Rolaids and Tums. And I was mm-hmm. chewing them like candy, yeah. which oh I didn't. Gosh. I had no idea that was know. a side effect. No. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so, now you know what the side effect now is. Now I know. Um, yeah. That's cool, but you've done EFT tapping in the past, and then that and that's helped, but you were doing more before. And so right now, if you do more, then there's a good chance that, that can also help. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, and if you want, and so, sort of, cause it, th- my mind goes in multiple directions, um, mm-hmm. and I can kind of explain things. Um, but one is cause you mentioned, okay, well, I think it's this, you know, it's this and mm-hmm. this and not that, mm-hmm. um, it's kidney stones and UTI are together or mm-hmm. one or the other. Mm-hmm. And so I would kind of like, well, for what reason do you think it is? Um, and, and it's also help, helping you understand what's going on, helping you get more factual, helping you get more clear. Mm. Um, and then the other thing is, is to see, okay, well, for what reason are you not doing EFT tapping as much right now? Mm-hmm. You know, what habits could we help you develop um, to, so that okay. you would be doing it more right now? So that's like an, another area to look at. Um, mm-hmm. but then what I'd want to know is um, I probably just keep asking questions, you know, like, like mm-hmm. when did this start? What was happening in your life when this started? So was there something different that happened in your life at the moment this started? And you said sometimes it's irritated and sometimes it's not. So mm-hmm. what's happening when it is, you know, what's happening when it okay. isn't. Um, and then what I'd also want to know is mm-hmm. what, w- what would you like to happen? You know, what's the result that you're looking for? Because I can't go anywhere until mm-hmm. I know where you want to go. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Like, I'm yeah. only well, going to direct you to where you want to go. Right, right, right. Well, the result would be obviously to <laughs> to stop taking medications and not have these symptoms, like heal whatever is going on in my body so it doesn't keep reoccurring. That's where I would like to go. Um, mm-hmm. And it started, I can tell you, it's. I, I know exactly the date it started, March 1st, 2021, because mm-hmm. I had a oh. doctor's appointment that morning and my stomach started that afternoon and it's been for the last year on and off. Yeah, it's crazy. And I've gone to doctors. Everything looks good. There's nothing mm-hmm. going on. You know, I've been looked at 15 ways to Sunday, you know, yeah. so. So it, it started after mm-hmm. your doctor's appointment. Yeah, my regular on yearly my checkup. My, okay. my regular checkup was mm-hmm. March 1st, blood work mm-hmm. regular. And she's like, how are you doing? I'm like, fine. Later that day, all of a sudden, my stomach was upset and it hasn't for that. That's the stomach. Yeah. And then yeah. I think I gave myself... The, the urinary thing from the, <laughs> from taking too much medication. See, side effect of the medications. Yeah. I believe, yeah. I don't know yeah. if I'm right on that, but that's what yeah. I, my instinct is telling me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no, and I'll say a couple more things, um, to that effect also, um, you know, from what I'm mm-hmm. hearing, you know, you want to heal, um, and, and and what we would do is also is also really get clear on the wording to use for the goal mm-hmm. that you want to get to, uh, okay. because the the mind and this is also so neuro linguistic programming teaches you how the mind works and when you use mm-hmm. the word don't I don't want to take any medicines anymore the mind actually right. doesn't he- Here, interpret don't. the negative and I know words. this yeah I do know this from writing manifesting postcards I do know you put it in <laughs> I am like yeah, I am healthy I am you know like yeah I yep. do know these things <laughs> yeah like in, right. You know, just like mm-hmm. in, independent. Mm-hmm. Um, and and then the, another one, so that was one. And then the other thing that would be really fun is to to go into um, one of the techniques from neuro-linguistic programming so that you can understand what the mental, emotional, or life habit connections are with what's going on mm-hmm. in your stomach. Um, mm-hmm. you know, and, and just a, a side note, this is like the, the intuitive part of Avital speaking. Um, so you went to the doctor, you're like, yeah, I'm fine. And then your body later that day was like, no, you're not. And it's time for mm-hmm. you to know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and really it's, it's, um, 
so a, a, a lot of people could be doing the same thing all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it, it's going to start bothering some people and not others. And it's because that person is ready for something different in their life. And so it's mm. just a matter of, well, it's, it's time for me to have a realignment. Because remember, everything is made of energy. Mm -hmm. and, and so the physical body is just going to be one manifestation of that energy. Mm -hmm. And so I just find it fascinating that it happened like, on the day that you went to the doctor. Um, mm -hmm. And because this was this moment where you're being really aware of what is going on in my body. And your body mm -hmm. says, no, that, that was not true when you said everything <laughs> is fine. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you know that right. that was not oh, true. Right. You know, not it everything sure. is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it made sure. Yeah. And then I went to the gastro doctor and had everything looked at and everything is clear. There's nothing showing up. So mm -hmm. there is an emotional energetic manifestation and it, it, I don't want to get into it in the show, but I do feel like I, I take on a lot of other people's things and the world's stuff and with mm -hmm. the pandemic. And I believe that part of that is why it's manifesting, you know, mm -hmm. and my mm -hmm. feelings about stuff. So, yeah, which yeah. I'm sure is what you get into very deeply when you're working one on one with a client, which, you know, would be is, is really fascinating. And um, but I do want to ask, because we have only like five minutes left, mm -hmm. um, some things maybe that we can, for everybody listening, that we can do on a daily, each of mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. um, to help us with our healing slash manifesting. Are there things that we should be doing every day for our, that's really good for us? The, the word should is going to depend on each person. Just right to be 100% to be okay. honest on that. So if I, if I were to give a should that could be mm -hmm. for everyone, it, it would mm -hmm. be to, to learn to tune in to what your should is for that for day. You. Okay. And a lot of times what we need to do is make sure that we're, we're clearing out diseases and, and parasites so we're not mm -hmm. deceived as to what our should mm -hmm. should be. Okay. And for a lot of people, the number one thing that's going to help you take action in any direction that you want to go with anything that you want to manifest is mm -hmm. raising your energy. So mm -hmm. we can do this together. Just take a double inhale and tense all of the muscles in your body. Okay. Scrunch your face, oh, make double? it look really okay. funny. Yep. Double inhale and then double exhale, completely release and relax everything. <sighs> okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you do that three or four times. I can do that. Oh, I the can second do that thing. Daily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And you could do it at any moment during the day where you yeah. start to feel mm -hmm. tired. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then I'll, I'll give you a second one. I would do mm -hmm. take five deep breaths. Okay. So just breathing through the nose and just feeling your belly expand and relax back in. And breathe so in a lot of these the are nose. breathing. A lot of these are breathing exercises to do to get us present in our body. Okay. To get you present and to get your energy moving in an upward moving. direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five exactly. deep breaths. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to use the word should. So is there certain <laughs> things, is there, is there like a supplement? Cause I, I kind of feel like our food source is not mm -hmm. what it used to be, you know, mm -hmm. and we're mm -hmm. not getting a lot of the nutrition. Is there a supplement I'm going to say we could be taking <laughs> daily that maybe a lot of us don't, aren't taking that, that could possibly help us with our health. Water. Um, but let me, but Water let me tell you more, sure. a more direct supplement, okay. vitamin okay. D. Okay. okay. Vitamin Vi D. I, vitamin I knew you D. were going to say it. I, I heard know. it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard vitamin D in my head before you said it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The magic yeah. of vitamin D that we don't, a lot of us don't take and we stay out yeah. of the sun now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I, I think the harder part is w what water are you drinking and what vitamin D are you taking? And are you taking D with K so that it really gets absorbed into your body? Okay. So it, it does Good become a fascinating thing because I can't just say vitamin D. It's like, well, right. are, are you taking a, a product that actually has a lot of chemicals in it and is doing right. more harm for your body than good? And are you taking it in a, the right combination so that your body really absorbs all of that vitamin D? Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want us to know that we, um, that we didn't get a chance to talk about? I, I, your book, I really want to mention your book, Healing Happens, because you go into detail in your book that we can purchase at any time um, about things mm -hmm. that we can do on the daily to help us with our own healing. 
And you have I stories do. in your book. Yeah, you have stories in your book of actual people who have been healed, right? I do. And there's 17 other experts in my story sharing these quick tips like I just gave you. So that okay. Healing Happens, and you just go to healinghappensbook.com. And that'll okay. also take you to the website with my podcast, with my blog, with the online courses. Um, so those of you who, who want more structure to be able to dive into a pattern, um, but you know, do more home study uh, type of thing, that's what the online courses are good mm -hmm. for. And what I also really love inviting people to is my Energize Your Life webinar, um, mm -hmm. because then I'm going to teach you the three keys to unlock unlimited energy that you can do also, again, quickly like we just did on this call. Okay, when is, and that's, where can oh. we get, where is that, or when is that? Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, just go to unlockunlimitedenergy.com, and you'll be able to sign mm -hmm. up for the next webinar. When is the webinar? Do you have the date? Do you know the dates offhand? I don't know the dates offhand. <laughs> that's okay, because I do that too. No, seriously, I have so many things going at once that I can't always remember the dates of things. So, yeah, that's why I have, that's why I have a calendar. <laughs> I know, but if, but if somebody's craving for it sooner than the date that's happening, just uh, write to me and I'll send you the recording for the last one. Oh, okay. Okay, that <laughs> yep. sounds great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot that we can be doing and it sounds like that you are doing a lot, which is <clears throat> really interesting. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really had a good time talking to you. So please check her out at her website, Avital Miller, A-V-I-T-A-L-M-I-L-L-E-R.com. And that takes you to everything else because I've been through the whole website. Thanks for listening to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. And I'm wishing everyone a wonderful week filled with joy, abundance, and love. Good health. Peace. Thank you.